Hi guys, Random Cloud 123 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the PlayStation 1 emulator working. First of all, you will need to go out and download the actual PlayStation 1 emulator. So I shall put the link in this, the description. Just click the download link. There it is there. Go open file. Then go a new folder on your desktop. And call it PS1. Drag all those files into the PlayStation 1 folder. Now once that's done, you want to go to Emulator Zone. And you want to click all the plugins. So you want to go to that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. That's all. Okay, once you've clicked all the download links for the BIOS files, you want to open up the PlayStation 1 folder that you just made, the PS1 folder, uh, and click the plugins. There. And you want to drag each of those files in there. Let's drag all those in. Once they're all in there, now we want to go get the BIOS file. So let's go to your internet browser and go to Dragon Ball Arena. Now you want to click this BIOS here. Uh, was it S S C P H one thousand and one dot bin? You want to click that download link. Click OK. Once that's finished, you want to drag those two f files into the BIOS, the BIOS folder. Now that should that should be good. Now you want to go back to the PlayStation One and click EPSX E then click configure. No. Nah. Go configure that one. That one. That one. Next. Next and next. Done. Now, you, now um, you want to go configure and gamepad number one. Now I've already set mine to my PS3 controller already. So if you got a PS3 controller, Xbox, all that, you can set it there. Then done. And now for part two. 